most incredible. Two, two. DJ Sour Milk. One, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. LA, LA. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the liftoff legendary listening session. Yes, sir. Uh. The LA leakers are here. Just incredible. Sour Milk. And Tiger is in the building. Yeah, Y'all make some man. noise for Tiger. Yeah. Who, before we get started, I want to I want to thank Tyga and Tyga's whole team, our scam artist family, uh, for setting today up because Tyga's actually going to play the album for y'all before anyone else can hear it. So this yeah. is a big moment, Tyga. Thank you for that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, had to. Uh, I also want to shout out our whole Power One Hundred Six team who's here. CC, thank you for being here. Brianna, thank you for being yeah. here. Our whole. Our whole digital team. I know. Uh-huh. I know. Our flavor unit is in the building. The whole squad. Our interns. Our liftoff interns. Shout to DJ Ever. The whole team who's here. Beat drop. Uh, of course, Los has been doing a great job. Our our HMC family's here yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so with that said, man, uh, Tiger, thank you for being here today, man. Oh man, I had to. I'm just excited, man. How does it feel, man? You're less than you know 24 hours from the release of the album. Oh yeah, I'm excited, man, and to be home. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Letting y'all hear it for the first time. Woo. Milk's heard it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's heard it for the yeah. last. All the, all the samples, yeah, yeah. right? Like yeah. he's heard it as it's been made, for sure, for sure. which was also dope. I know, you know, having conversations with you and Milk as well. Uh, you know, just hearing your process in the album, it was important for you to have that that hometown feel to it, especially like around this summertime. Talk to us about creating the project. I mean, like you said, you've been to the studio many a times, and it's like for me. I just had to make sure it felt like home. Like when you, if this your first time in LA, it needed to feel like right. that. You know what I'm saying? If you turn the Power 106 on or if you go to the club, like, or you just, you in the streets driving on Sunset or LA, wherever you at, it just needs to feel like that vibe. And it was real important for me to make sure I didn't step outside of that vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, I did a lot of songs that's a lot of songs that didn't make it that were re- actually good songs too with other features and stuff but I was just like there was a certain sound that I wanted to lock in on this project you know what I'm saying so I was like it just has to be this kind of vibe this kind of tempo it just got to be a summer album right you know what I'm saying right. and obviously taste you know spearheaded everything yeah what was was that the initial plan like how many of the records were recorded after taste you know did its thing and, and how many were, were done beforehand um, all the songs are aftertaste for sure. Okay. Um, there were a few that were before, but really, I wasn't. I didn't really have a plan on putting the album out until like probably like two months ago. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there was one point where you were saying, "Man, I'm just going." Yeah, I was just like put because you know just fresh songs because like two months people all, you you'll drop a song and then people be like, "Yo." Drop a new song in like three months, you'd be like, damn, I just dropped the song. <laughs> but like, I think it's the way the internet is and the way like we're streaming, like, it's just so much music out that people, yeah. especially your fans, like, you, they just want it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And for me, like, it's easy to make songs and just put them out, shoot videos. So that's what I like doing is videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, when we did Taste, man, I was just like, we just gonna keep putting out songs. I wanted to. I, for me, like I would have put out more, but they're like, no, hold on, just let taste, <laughs> let taste do it. Suja, where Suja at? Right, yeah, you right. know what I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to Suja, yeah, you know. But I, I'm excited uh, a year later to actually be coming out with the project. Yeah, you know what I'm exciting times. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. exciting times. Let's talk about you released the track list. Uh, I see there's two features on there with Wayne. Uh, what's oh. it like? So one, so one song is called Light Skin Lil Wayne. Oh, okay. He's not actually on that song. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So he's on, he's on On Me. That's the song right after it. Okay, and for people who haven't heard the album yet, we're going to hear it here in a few minutes. What can you tell us about Light Skin Lil Wayne and the inspiration behind that song? It's just a vibe, man. Like, I feel like I'm just real comfortable in my pocket on this album. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you overthink things and you'll be like, yo, I need to do a song with this person. I need to do a song for radio. I need to, like, I just record it. And I was like, whatever feels good to me, I'm going to just put it on here and sequence it. And it just, you know, I'm just, I'm just talking my shit. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And what's, I mean, you, you've obviously been doing your thing for a minute now. How has, you know, the process of, of, of releasing music changed from, from 10 years ago you know, to, to now, like you were saying earlier, you were like, I wanted it to, to just keep releasing singles. Yeah. Um, you know, because people, I feel like people's attention spans are so short now. What, 
it, is it is it difficult to adjust to that or I think I think like you said like me coming from people buying albums and buying singles and ringtones mm-hmm. opposed to now everybody just streaming so you know what I'm saying you might people that you might have artists that like did really well with like selling albums selling singles and ringtones and then you have artists that are that are bigger with streaming and a lot of those people don't like evolve over yeah. into yeah, like yeah, yeah. and like now like there's like people that come to my shows yeah that like won't even know Rack City like that that's crazy but they're like learning them though yeah. like literally li- like kids they're they're, yo. they're new fans and they're like from taste yeah you know what I'm saying which is crazy you be like wow like cuz you always think as an artist like oh you got to know this you know what mm. I'm saying but it's so many new listeners though like now I think with streaming like it's so many people that are discovering artists discovering music differently yeah, yeah so it's like for sure. Your job is like never done, which is crazy. Ever. Who are some other features on the album you could talk about? Uh, we got Wayne on the album. We got Chris, of course. Yeah, yeah, um, that's a lot. That's a collaboration. Yeah. A lot of people are looking forward to hearing. Yeah, and I had to, you know, had to do that because I wanted to. Um, it's just nostalgic, you know. When me and Chris get in the studio, it's always like it's always a, a hit, a vibe, uh, yeah, a yeah. vibe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So um, I got Gunna on the album. Nice. And then I like the Gunna song a lot because it. It's a different pocket and a different tempo for him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, who else we got on the album? We got uh, Balvin. Sway Lee on the album. Balvin. The Balvin, Balvin record is crazy. Yeah. Balvin on the album. Yeah. Talk to us about that record, man. About, about the so, hot record. Yeah. So, I, um, I Y'all like that record? Y'all yeah. like that record? Make some noise. It's hot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Album of the summer. You know yeah. what it is? Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Tiger's in the building. Yeah, so the, the J Balvin collab, you know, that was my first like Latin collab too. Like even though the song is not really like super Latin, right. you know what I'm saying? But I sent them actually two songs. I had another song that was like more Spanish that that, that didn't make my album. And he was like, nah, man, I want to get on the party one. I want to be in the club. Okay. I was like, all right, for sure. And then when he sent it back, I'm like, damn, he's rapping on it. I thought he was going to sing, you know what I'm saying? Because like. Mostly all his records be like real melodic. Yeah, he rapped on it, man. We shot the video and we just dropped the we just dropped the video. It's going crazy. So video wild, videos fire, song got, sounds amazing. We got another uh, we got another collab on the way too. You and Balvin? Yeah. Damn, it's, y'all it's ready on, for that? Y'all, re- <laughs> y'all ready for another? Collab? I don't want to give you too much, but it's a monster. <laughs> oh wait, okay, I think I heard that one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You got it oh, in yeah. your phone? I, I, listen, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the legendary album, man, and and then we got who who else is on the album? Okay, hold on, let me Seth see. I, 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 got, I got it right here. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Let's see. It's Wayne Blueface. Oh, Blueface. Yeah, yeah Blueface face is on it. Sway yep. Lee, uh, a boogie. Talk to us about that. Yep. The, w- w- was he originally supposed to be on the goddamn record? And, and yeah, yeah. So he originally was gonna be on it. But um, he couldn't shoot the video in time. Because, you know, I'm very, like, yeah. I'm shooting a video tomorrow and I'm putting it out Friday. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, I'm very, very, like, in the moment. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, but I was like, you know, we just put it out when the album album dropped. Mm. So, yeah, he went off on it, too. And, you know, he's, like, especially in New York, like, he, he the, he's man, the man. You know what he's saying? the man. He's the man out there. Shout out to A Boogie. Was, was, was there anybody that you wanted on the album that, that didn't make the album? Or that might not have got back to you, with, mm. you know, in time or, or, you know, whatever it was. Hmm. He's like, nah, I'm Tiger, bro. Nah, Come I'm, on, I'm trying to like- think. There, there definitely was. I know Cardi was supposed to be on Hot. Uh, Ooh. Really? Yeah, she was supposed to be on Hot. What happened? She was, she was, she was like, yo, I'm going to knock it out. Da-da-da. You know, timing, but timing. Yeah. we'll get one. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Maybe the remix. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I know we have a shout out to our Power 106 listeners who won their tickets to come down and see. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate it the most. That was a a personal request of Tigers. He wanted to make sure that the true Tiger fans were in the building. For sure. For sure. I know our our producer, Jesse, is. uh, Jess, you got the questions from the audience? We want to ask a couple couple fan questions. Yes, yes, we're here. All right, introduce yourself and uh, give me a question. Hi, I'm Maya from Pasadena, and my... Oh, where's she at? Where's she at? And my question is, what song did you have fun making? What song did I have? All of them. Come on. Oh, <laughs> no, no, but I think 
Oh yeah, go local. Shout out to go local. Local. YG. Yeah, shout out to YG. Yeah, it's going up. Yeah. YG, it's going up. It's Heat. going up. Yeah. Um, I think probably the funnest song on there that I made. You know what? Like, vibrate with Sway Lee. That that's like one of my favorite songs on there for sure. Because okay. it's a different like. When I always play it for people, they be like, yo, who's this? Like, they be like, when you come in? When do you start rapping? Yeah. Like, so I just, like, kind of switched the flow up. You know what I'm saying? But you'll see what I'm talking about when you hear it. That's definitely one of my favorites, though. What's up? Who else That's we got over there, Jess? We got one more right here. Introduce yourself and tell them your question. Um, hi, I'm Natalie from Los Angeles. Over here. <laughs> um, my question is, what inspired your album title, Legendary? Um, I think, you know what, like... Everything I've been through, everything uh, up until this point, like being in the game for 10 years to being, you know, like collab with so many different artists, so many different records. I feel like it's just legendary. This moment right now just feels like that. It's just yeah. the right time. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like self-explanatory. That's right. Yeah. That's you know right. Yeah. Make some noise for the West Coast. Make some noise yeah. for Los Angeles. Make some noise for hip hop. You know what it is. Yeah. Um, what b- b- back to us real quick? What makes this album different than than you know previous bodies of work that you put out? Um, I think other projects like sometimes you tend to overthink them. You know what I'm saying? To where this one, this this project just feels like a really really good playlist, like super customized. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people love making their own playlists, and yeah. for me, this is like my own playlist. If I had to pick. My favorite songs, you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's talk about the Go Loco song too, man. Shout out to yeah. YG. Shout out to YG and Mustard on that. Yeah, Mustard going Johnny. crazy. Uh, <laughs> talk to us just about how the song came about because it, it 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 it's a different sound. It's so LA. You want to know the truth? Yeah, hell yeah. And nothing oh, but the truth. Course. And nothing but the truth. Oh, of course. So we was in the studio, uh, working on Mustard's album. Okay. He, he came in there. He was like, "Yo, I got the I got this one beat. I want y'all to hear." So we like, all right, whatever. He brings it in the studio, he plays it, and me and YG look at each other like, what is this, bro? Like, what's... I was like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? We were all kind of like, nah, I ain't really, I don't know. That's kind of, I don't, I don't really, I ain't really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So fast forward, I'm in the studio waiting for YG to get there, um, and I'm like, yo, pull up that beat, pull up the. Pull up the beat must have brought in a couple of days. So I'm just sitting there listening to it. And I was just like, let me try something real quick. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I knocked the verse out. I knocked the hook. YG got there. And I was like, yo, you know that beat must have brought. Let me, let me play something. See, see what you think. I was, I was like, it's cool. It's not, like, it's not like super crazy. But you know what I'm saying? See, let me know if you mess with it. Okay. So I played it. He was like, he's like, oh, man, this is different. This is, this is crazy. I was like, you like it? So we went, to, we went and played it for Mustard. And he was like, man, this is crazy. I was like, really? I was like, I really didn't think it was that crazy. It was another song that I wanted to put out. You know what I'm saying? That was like a little more like ratchet. I was like, no, we need to put this one out. <laughs> and then um, YG was like, yo, I'm about to make this my single. I was like, for sure, let's go. Because I feel like YG is the perfect person for that record. Yes. The way he tells the story. And you know what I'm saying? Like, YG's a, a black Mexican, bro. Like, <laughs> no, seriously. Like, yeah. no, I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, he, uh, and, and, and the West Coast, they, they support him a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and I feel like it, it was perfect for him to have that record. If you look at the video, like, you know what I'm saying? He really went to those different hoods. Like, yes. people can't, do that like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like going to Echo Park and yeah. like these is real like essays, you know what I'm saying? But showing love, yeah. So you know, and it's super West Coast, and so West we was just in New York, and they we went to the club, and yeah, they, they, was, they was going they crazy. Was going, they were going up. Wow, they, they that's was what's like, up. So just to see like something that you know is really like homegrown, and the West Coast, like in New York, they going crazy for it. It's yeah. like really dope. See you know how saying? far this shit yeah, takes. So shout out to YG so Mustard. Shout out to John Z on it too. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, now were, were, were you like hesitant until it dropped? Were, were you hesitant to put it out? Like, uh, no. When I he was like, know. we do the single, and then we were talking about the treatment, and I was like, no, nah, this is this is culture, bro. Like, yeah. this is, the West Coast needs this right it's now. So culture. They it's need so it, culture. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Man. Make some noise for Tiger keeping it a hundred <laughs> and giving us that exclusive truth. 
Once again, thank you to the Bootsy Bello team. Thank you yeah. to our Zen family. Thank uh-huh. you to Power 106. Yes. Tiger, thank you yes, sir. Sir. so much. Uh, we got our social, the social media questions. Yeah, we got some social media questions. So, here. so there were some people that couldn't make it. Yeah. So, you know, Milk and I was like, yo, send us some questions on, on Twitter and Instagram. So we got a few of those questions. Yes. Uh, Ashley Hernandez, favorite song and feature on the album? Uh, favorite song and feature. I mean, the, the, the one with Sway Lee is definitely like a go to. But, you know, it'd probably be uh, the last song with Bozzy. It's, oh, a, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely like a different kind of vibe and it's more of a story kind of track. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's probably definitely one of my favorites. Okay. We also got Shane Scott. Uh, any work with Ty Dolla Sign coming soon? Oh, yeah. Good question. You know what? We got something on his album that's crazy. I don't want to give it away because I don't, you know what I'm that, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's but, right. Um, that's we right. might need to give you Shane heard it, a job. You heard it for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yo, Samantha from Los Angeles. So, I think this has to do with, with Tiger Woods winning, uh, I don't know what he won recently. I don't, I don't know about Masters. golf, but he won something. Yeah. The Who had the comeback. bigger comeback? <laughs> Tiger Woods or Tiger? <laughs> I, I just I just have to say it's a good year to be a Tiger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. That's yeah. right. Uh, Tiger. <laughs> for sure. Last one. Eddie on Instagram, uh, he asked, what was it like working on Taste with Offset? Which was crazy. So, so I shot, I was shooting a video. Offset, he wasn't on it at first. Yeah. Um, the day I'm, I invited him to come to the video. I'm like, yo, I'm shooting this video right now, and it's like a pool party too, so if you want to come through, just pull up. So he FaceTimed me. I'm shooting a video, and then I'm like, yo, man, you should get on it. It's crazy. I'm like, but he, matter of fact, I, I sent it to him a couple of days before, and he was like, I like this. I want to get on it. I was like, well, just let me know. Like, no pressure. So I shot the video. It was already done, and he FaceTimed me while I was shooting the video, and he was like, yo. I got to get on the song. I was like, bro, I'm shooting the video right now. <laughs> so I don't, like, you have to send me your verse right now. We got to figure it out. So uh, he sent me the verse that night when I finished. And I was like, I was like, I was like let's just hold it and let's put him on. And let's just, so I flew to Atlanta the same week and shot his scenes. And then it was just perfect. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but it just crazy. goes to show you like patience too. Yes. Like because some things you got to kind of just let, let it just happen. You know what I mean? The organicness of exactly. it, right? Yeah. Is it, is it difficult at times to be patient? Uh, I think, I think, man, it's all about patience. Like you said, Nipsey said, it's a marathon. Like, right. yeah. you can't rush it in this game. You know, you got to, you got to, it's all about timing. You know what I'm saying? Persistence, perseverance. Wow. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You've done it well, man. The release of Taste all the way till today. The legendary album is available in moments. And we're going to hear the album first yeah. uh, with everybody yeah. here. So y'all make some noise for Tyga. Y'all make yeah. some noise for the legendary album. Yes. And yeah, man, we got to play some songs for the people, man. Yeah, we got to go. Can we go over there and play? Yeah, of way? course. Yeah, of course. course. I got to get closer to the, you know what I'm saying? Right. We'll make our yeah, we'll make our way that way. <laughs> 